Okay, so if you didn't know, this week uh, Google released Cartographer, which is a really awesome open sourced um, SLAM library. Uh, so I work for TRI, and we added support on our robot HSR, and we really think it's awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how it works. Why would you want to use? Why would you want to use this? Come on, go. Uh, because of awesome loop closures, guys. I know this is a big. Oh, we went back. All right. Well, this is a big uh, problem in SLAM loop closing, and also this 3D SLAM. Uh, so what this does is it does a vertical occupancy map as well as a as a planar occupancy map, and it's able to track up and down stairs and through large spaces. And so this is from the Deutsche Museum, and Google's also re also going to release um, three years of data collections from this museum. So there will be a lot of data that you can test your algorithms over and see how well it works in comparison with this. So you can see it going around and, and actually doing all these loop closures as it's going. It's really awesome. Moving on. All right, so what do you do when you get a new piece of code? You have to test it, right? So we decided at TRI that we were going to have a little bit of fun with this test, and we were going to um, create this little video showing a small location, but with a large array of dynamic, um, uh, dynamic things. So I do want to point out that we shot this on HSR. This is actually shot using a Ross bag. Uh, so we collected all the data, including the camera data, and we went through uh, our little lab, which is set up like a mock kitchen, and, or a mock living room home, and we did a whole bunch of fun things. Uh, uh, so we're, we're testing out uh, like things that are statically dynamic, like chairs in the background, things that move around that the lighter catches, like drawers that move out in your kitchen, uh, making sure that uh, things like doorways, well, this is our doorway here, our lighter is, is low on our robot, that, that that's not messing up the, the SLAM algorithm. And you can see all the, the the, all the edges of this map are kept really straight. And high, higher dynamic things like rolling around on chairs actually don't really get added at all. And so this is the last portion that we're going through here is moving the chairs back and forth. Uh, it actually sees these chairs twice, so they, they have a high probability of being there. But as the robot is going through, you see they start to fade out. And then uh, once the robot hits the end of the room and it realizes that a loop closure has happened, all of the chairs go back to actually where they currently are. So, yay. You should actually watch it with the music. There's fun music involved. It looks much more like an OK Go video. OK, so here's the thing you should take a picture of. If you're going to take a picture, go get the code. It's on GitHub. It has HSR and TurtleBot support currently. You can also use the code at Robocup at Home, HSR, and join TRI. <laughs>